Okay, so a single pixel of water on a waterlogged chest breaks your fall, yet multiple pixels of water in a cauldron doesn't, yet lava in a cauldron burns you. Well, at least one of them makes sense. Ha! I've gone ahead and set up an experiment here to uh, see if this is true. And we're starting with this single pixel of water. Check it out, one pixel. Oh yeah, oh, yeah fine, no worries. You can just, you know, you can just, you know, land in the water with, uh, <laughs> no problem. But heaven forbid you have actual water below you because you can't survive that. <laughs> Cauldrons are absolutely wild. <laughs> Minecraft makes absolutely no sense. And if you look over here, I asked you on my community tab, what's something in Minecraft with absolutely zero logic behind it? As per usual, you guys didn't disappoint. I need to get out of this cauldron, I'm gonna die. I went through your suggestions and grabbed some of my favorites. And today we're gonna talk through them all. And just to add on to this first one, um, yeah. Yeah, water cauldrons can put out fire, but you can't land in them because no, why would it save you like normal water? And also literally like this is a d intended feature because it eats the water up somehow. I am very confused. I'm confused. The Fletching Table. The Fletcher villagers give you all of the cool range stuff, but apparently you, the main character, the only one who can actually interact with anything, can't use it. When you put it that way, I don't like this block that much. Of course, naturally, there can be a Fletcher villager that will, you know, trade you cool Fletcher things like arrows and like, you know, stuff that you can use as a player. But I can't use the Fletching Table. But he can! I can't use this! Why are you allowed to? Please, just let me make my arrows. What's he gonna even do with them? He can't, he can't shoot a bow. None of you guys have tools. Like what, what are we to, 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 to <laughs> Here's my suggestion. I think we just add this to the next update. You know, just, you know, do something like we did with the smithing table. This used to not really have any functionality. And uh, as you can see, now it does. But hey, uh, let's think about it. Maybe uh, since this block didn't have any functionality, maybe this one will someday. So maybe it's just a matter of time before, uh, okay, can you? Maybe it's just a matter of time before we can actually get that arrow system. But for now, we're stuck with this guy. We'll get to you later. You can put an axolotl or a full cubic meter of powdered snow in a bucket, but not a frog which is much smaller than either. Mojang, we need frogs in a bucket for frog light farms. That would be quite convenient, but instead we just have the frog, which is in fact smaller than the axolotl. You can see one. here, it's very clear. Oh, it's very clear. One is smaller than the other. And yet this one, you can't pick up in a bucket. You know what you can pick up in a bucket though? This guy. The bucket of axolotl is a very normal thing that a lot of people have. And what makes this even worse is that you one. can get tadpole buckets. So you would think that natural, oh, that guy died. Oh. You would think that naturally, if the uh, the larger mob can fit in a bucket, that the smaller mob would fit in the bucket too. But no, frogs are just frogs, and uh, they just kind of do their thing. Apparently, they just don't fit. Who knew? On the topic of powdered snow though, check this out. It's a full block that I'm just fitting inside of a bucket. This is much larger than this. How does this make sense? But powdered snow isn't off the hook. We're gonna talk more about this later. I am a little chilly. Frog? You don't make any sense. Dispensers are crafted with a bow instead of a crossbow, but they fire instantaneously unlike a regular bow and more like a crossbow. Yeah, what's up with that? You would think that this would be the recipe, right? But no. Oh, that's also not the recipe. <laughs> How did I not? Wait, wait, hold on. That's the recipe though. That's, that's it. I'm just gonna give myself all the recipes. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. I can't go. Dispenser, I have all of these, I have all of these items in my inventory right now. Not only do dispensers not make sense, I I can't even craft them. I don't, I actually don't know why. But this comment is absolutely right. Dispensers fire things instantaneously, uh, like a crossbow. And a bow takes a moment to charge before you can fire. Oh my gosh, I hit that pig. <laughs> so why exactly is this not the recipe? Like that, that feels like it would make more sense, right? But no, instead it's supposed to be this recipe, but I can't craft it. Hmm. Hmm, this bow is firing awfully quickly. I can't do that. Or wait, oh, I guess I guess you kind of can, huh? You kind of can't. Maybe this does make sense. Maybe this is completely logical. Nah, it still doesn't make any sense. This is, this is weird. You get the idea. Crossbows would make more sense. But hey, we're not here to find things that make sense, are we? Oh, arrow. Let's move on to the next illogical thing. The skull can distinguish between players and zombies, despite them being anatomically similar enough that they wouldn't sound drastically different. Yeah, so if you don't know, skulk sensors actually output a different signal strength based on what is triggering them. So for 
example, if I'm walking nearby, it'll output a signal strength of one. If I jump, it'll output a signal strength of two. If I break a block, it'll output another signal strength. What's it gonna be? Yeah, oh, I place a block, it's an S whatever that was. But the interesting thing is that when I walk like this, it's only a signal strength of one, but if a zombie is nearby, it's a signal strength of like almost 15. Now that he's being damaged, it's a signal strength of what? Like seven? That's a little strange. I look pretty similar to that zombie. You would think that the zombies would output a similar signal strength, but instead they don't. They output way stronger. So skulk sensors can distinguish these things even though they don't have any sort of eyes or other way to distinguish them. The other really interesting thing is that the warden doesn't care. The warden is just aggravated uh, against anything. So if the warden doesn't distinguish between hostile mobs and players, then uh, why does the skulk sensor? There he goes. And bye, zombie. <laughs> this doesn't make a lot of sense. It's uh, not the same across the board. And like, sure, skulk sensors and stuff may not make sense in real life, but even in the gameplay terms, this is a little weird. Like, I don't know why it's this way. There is no logic here. There is only pain and suffering. And we're gonna move on to the next one because there's more pain and suffering where that came from. If you wear leather boots inside powdered snow, even though only Steve's feet are protected, the rest of the body decides to be immune to the cold. Here I am with my leather boots walking on top of powdered snow, but if I just, you know, look, I'm fine. I'm not cold at all. But the moment I take these boots off, I start to freeze. <laughs> And if I stay here for too long, I'll freeze to death. But then I just, you know, put some shoes on and oh yeah, no worries. Infinite warmth. These leather boots are more than just boots. They're all powerful. I do love this mechanic. This is kind of amazing. You know what also doesn't make a lot of sense? The fact that if you put a campfire down here, cover it with powdered snow, and then I go in here again, this doesn't save me from the cold, even though it's literally fire. I can burn to death and freeze to death at the same time. But the moment I put on these leather boots, then uh, yeah, no worries. No worries, I'm all warm again. Again. Strange how thermodynamics work, or don't in this case. The cleric's job block is a brewing stand, yet they presumably do not brew potions as they don't trade any potions. See, I told you we'd be back for you. You don't make any sense, but I'm gonna level you up just to make sure. Take these. Interesting. You don't have a single potion in your inventory. There's bottles of enchanting, but I don't think you get those from a brewing stand. Okay, yeah, I'm following you in here. Look at this thing. Look at this. This allows you to brew regular potions. Um, but, but you can't, you can't, you can't get any of those from the cleric. So like, what does he use this for? Hey buddy, what's your problem? Clerics don't make any sense. Just as much as the Fletchers don't make any sense. Villagers don't make any sense. But I mean, when you think about it, they have like, you know, a, me a mechanical iron golem that's protecting them. Uh, and, uh, that also doesn't make a lot of sense. So, I mean, villagers in general are just kind of... Just kind of weird. Don't you agree, white cat? And Minecraft is weird, but that's the premise of this video, so we're gonna move on to the next comment. Was that a good segue? I, I don't know if that was a good segue. The fact that Steve can very easily swim up waterfalls of any size is kind of strange. Useful, but strange. Ah, uh, yes, would you look at this? A very strong current of flowing water. There's no possible way I could, you know, swim in a crazy fast flowing current of many gallons of water. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You thought I couldn't actually swim up a flowing current? Wow, you that's that's crazy talk. I'm so good at swimming. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This makes total sense. Flowing water is just like regular water. Am I right, fam? I don't know why I said fam. <laughs> water is weird. I am askew. Listen, this kind of water, just a standing body of water, I can understand. This is just like a pool. You can swim in a pool. But last time I checked, I don't think I was swimming up Niagara Falls. I don't think you're supposed to get that close to Niagara Falls, actually. I don't think that's how that works. I think you would probably die. But no, I'm fine. I'm just gonna be up here at the top of this mountain now. Water in Minecraft makes so much sense! Whee! The skeleton, a mob that spawns with a weapon that doesn't break, has a melee attack for when it doesn't have a bow. Then there's the pillager, who has a ranged weapon that can break, but then doesn't know how to live after it breaks. Yeah, first thing I gotta do is wear out the pillager's bows. Oh, the skeleton just killed him, no! As you'll notice, uh, this guy fires really fast. I turned up the tick speed on this world. Hey man, calm down, calm down, calm down. I gotta give myself a little hideout here so I can actually just sit here and let him do <laughs> Yeah, regardless of how long I sit here, though, the skeleton's bow doesn't break. Oh. Oh, ow. The pillager, on the other hand, uh, his bow will break after a while. It may take a really long time, and ow, I am in so much pain! <gasps> oh, 
Oh, hey, there it is. It broke. Ah, uh, see, he can't do anything now. He's just completely pacified. Hey, man, I can just let you out of your little uh, enclosure here, and you can't do a thing. <laughs> this, on the other hand, is a skeleton without a bow, and as you can see, he's got a melee attack. Bah. Bah. Fight me. Yeah, he can, he can actually still attack. But you... You're useless! Skeletons, their bows can't even break, and yet they have the failsafe for if their bow breaks. But pillagers, their bows do break, and they don't have a failsafe for when their bows break. Fascinating, super interesting, crazy stuff, and uh, you can, uh, unlock pillager identity. Yo. Something I've never seen anyone talk about is that when you break a cauldron that's full of water, the water just magically disappears. Yeah! That's weird. It's the same with the lava. It just kind of poofs out of existence. Which, if that was a consistent game mechanic, then I'd say that's probably fine. But, um, it's not. If I break these leaves, the water will spill everywhere. But if I break this cauldron, nothing happens. So why on earth do waterlogged blocks break with water effect here? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. My brain don't comprehend. I also just love that waterlogged leaves just hold the water there. Doesn't make any sense, but it's there and I like it. Like it. You can just go up to people's trees and just <laughs> waterlog their tree. But heaven forbid you waterlog a cauldron because <laughs> you're not getting that back. I always find it weird that Minecraft stairs are crafted like they would have three steps to them, even though they only have two. One, two, three steps. But two steps. One, two. That's not three. At least last time I checked. I don't know. I don't do math. This one definitely is pretty weird. I don't. I don't really understand this. The only thing that makes this a little bit better for me is the stone cutter, where you can just take you know one block and turn it into one stair, and then you don't have to worry about the recipe at all. But in the crafting menu here, yeah, that's not, uh, that's not normal. Stairs are dumb. Stairs don't make any sense. Minecraft is weird. I don't know what I'm building, but it's actually kind of cool, huh? Strange how copper oxidizes, but iron doesn't rust. Yeah, I've had this iron block out here the entire video. Where's the rust? What's happening? Copper, on the other hand, uh, has the opposite problem in that it turns green. You can definitely remove it, but, um, like, <laughs> it still weathers. Where's this feature for the iron block, huh? Last time I checked, iron doesn't stay white forever. It gets crunchy. Why don't you rust? This was the best rust color I could find. I don't know. Why don't you rust? It doesn't make any sense. I do think it would be actually really cool to have, like, you know, rust on iron, and then iron golems could be all, like, rusted and cool looking. It's it's like the copper golem thing where you had to like deoxidize the copper golems. It's really cool. It's a neat concept. I think that could be actually really sick. But what do I know? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spitballing ideas here, you know? Oh, there's a horse. Hey there, horse. I'm slowly going insane. Are you going insane with me? How insane are you? Insane enough to subscribe? The fact that we're the only entity in the game that starves. Imagine if you only could have the same digestive system as the dog that's been sitting in the same dusty corner of your house for six years without a crumb to eat since you first met. That wouldn't be OP at all. Nope, not one bit. I don't envy that dog at all. I'm just gonna sit here and starve. I'm starving. Man. You've got it good down there. I could just let you sit here for years and you wouldn't die. You'd be fine. Don't look at me with those puppy eyes. I know what that means. You're rubbing it in. I starve to death and you don't. You're an all-powerful being that doesn't need food in any way. And I am but a humble player. I am the realistic one. You are not. But also, I envy your abilities. I envy them. Please, give me your abilities before I go. Please, please. Oh, I have a half a heart. That, that was the end of my... Oh, I guess I'm not gonna starve to death. Not unless I jump into the powdered snow. Yeah. The fact that Steve and every other mob, for that matter, can jump up a whole meter. Also, not even jump, just casually walk over a cubic meter block. Yeah, man, the vertical on these guys is crazy. Yoink. <laughs> Wild. I guess you could jump up like a meter high in real life, but it not, not like straight. <laughs> <laughs> I think your legs would bend a little bit for that. Imagine the leg reach on these guys. Horses could literally walk up blocks like this. Like, they, this, they have no problem going up a full meter. Boink, that's like half their, their height. That's so much. I don't know, man. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But also, in real life, I don't have, like, a meter tall vertical either, so, you know... 
Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Do basketball players even have that high of jump? I don't even know, man. That's kind of crazy. That's crazy, isn't it, huh? Oh, wait, I forgot about something really important. It's not just one meter. You can jump way higher than that. Oh, my gosh. Bro, I'd be accepted to any basketball team in the world. <laughs> the fact that Steve can eat literal gold and feel good after. What? You don't eat gold on a regular basis? This is delicious, man. I love gold. I love it. I love eating apples that are covered in, like, literally eight gold ingots. Yeah, that's my favorite favorite food. It's delicious and it's life changing. You should really try it sometime. It's a great diet supplement for, you know, um, uh, apple, apple skin. <laughs> Disclaimer, don't actually try this in real life. Don't actually eat straight gold. It might not end well. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I promise. But I'm going to do it forever. These are my apples. You can't, you can't do anything to stop me. They're my apples. <laughs> hey, you should subscribe, please. Steve is six foot six with six inch arms. Oh yeah, bro. I am strong. Thick arms, powerful. I can carry anything with these six inch arms. What would that even look like in real life? I don't know. Just like crazy buff. <laughs> and six foot six. I'm definitely six foot six. Here's Narfi for scale. This door is like nine feet tall. I'm definitely that tall. Definitely. Most illogical thing is the coal in a furnace goes out in like 30 seconds, but the one fourth coal on a torch is infinite. All right, it's time for a race. Who do you think is gonna burn out first? One full piece of coal with 64 raw iron or a quarter of a block with coal uh, on fire? The torch is starting out strong by not looking any different in any way. The coal is already halfway down its endurance, but the torch has shown no signs of weakening this torch is is pulling through man but this this darn coal here this full block of coal so much more coal in here than a quarter of a piece of coal on there what's gonna happen as this fades into oblivion it's gone and the furnace loses the one full piece of coal has lost to a quarter of that <laughs> Yeah, the more you think about it, the torch doesn't make a ton of sense by itself. These will just burn forever, and you can just put a ton of them down, and there's no problems here. They also won't light things on fire. Torches are just... Torches are weird. Incredible work. Who would have seen that coming? If the chest space is one block space, where did all that other space come from? Wouldn't only be able to put one block? Well, I'm slightly confused by your grammar, but yeah, this actually isn't even one block. It's slightly smaller. Check it out. It's like barely not one block. And yeah, it may be made with nine blocks, but how in the world is there enough space to fit this many chests inside of it? If one chest looks like this, then fitting this into here is already a difficult task, let alone fitting all of these. How did they do it? At least the ender chest makes more sense, right? It's a, uh, you know, interdimensional and like this can, you know, you can access it from any other ender chest and it's all the same items. At least that makes a little sense in the world of Minecraft, at least. But this is also a portal somehow to somewhere. It's some sort of pocket dimension with so much more space. Man. Who would have thought? Why don't we have this kind of storage craziness in real life? We could figure it out, right? Someone get on that. Please. Mind carts being able to turn 90 degrees at high speeds with no effect on the player. You don't get thrown out of the cart, there's no damage from the G-Force, your mind cart just navigates the corner as if it's nothing. It's true, mind carts are just kind of a weird, weird thing. You would think every single one of these corners I'd be thrown to the side or thrown out of the mind cart like you would be in a regular vehicle. But no, instead I'm just whoop, I'm just around the corner. There you go, yeah, no big deal. It is quite odd, I don't really understand it. G-Forces, whoa, whoa. And that makes me feel like mind Craft makes absolutely no sense. No sense. Are you confused yet? Because I certainly am. Uh-oh. How did I survive that? Oh, no.